Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? And today I have something a little bit special for you guys. I mean, it's not that special, okay? We've seen it before, but it's definitely devious, to say the least. Um, <laughs> and as the title or thumbnail may suggest, probably the thumbnail, I'll probably put it in the thumbnail. Um, we're going Bobble. They brought Bobble back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, let me buy my stuff first before I get it and get too yappy. Um, we want the horn shard as per usual. Although Vibrant Shard actually... Probably pretty decent, but we're gonna get the horn shard because we're going CDs. Any, anywho, anywho. Um, starting med against a Pele is actually terrible. I mean, the upgrade's good, but the actual uh, tier one is terrible. So maybe we'll just get our Aegis and call it a day. But, anyways, what was I saying? Something about something, probably. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this thingy. Which you can start the tier two, by the way. It's actually not that bad. Uh, but I, I personally would rather just rush the cooldown on Kronos Pennant. But just keep in mind, this tier 2 star, Jeweled Studs, is actually pretty darn good. MP5, power, and cooldown to start the game. And you get two potions, just like Kronos Pennant. Definitely a viable start. Uh, I prefer Kronos Pennant, at least right this moment. I, wait, where did she go? I feel like I just saw her. Anyways, they removed the, the bad things about Bobble. I mean, there's still bad things about it, which is... Um, it's moderately expensive, it's not expensive, it's moderately expensive, meaning it's not cheap, it's not expensive, it's in the middle, right? I just realized my headset volume is so loud for no reason, I need to turn that down in a second, but it's like a, it's like a mid-tier item, price-wise, so, you know, it's not cheap, I guess, if you want to call that, uh, a downside. But, um, and it doesn't have amazing stats. The stats aren't, like, amazing. But the stats aren't bad, either. I think we're gonna end up fighting this Pele. Use our clone on her. Pop our horn shard right after popping all three abilities. She's not expecting the clone damage. Yep. I miss Morgan Le Fay. I mean, not, not enough to, like, spam her by any means. I will not be spamming Morgan Le Fay every single day. But uh, I'll definitely probably play her here and there. Like, I'll probably be one of those gods I play once or twice a day. Assuming I actually get a lot of games in like assuming i stream if i don't stream then i probably will just play the character i'm recording with right but anyways back to bobble <clears throat> so this item if you guys didn't know what it did if you guys don't remember this item it came out a long time ago but they kind of nerfed it to the ground to the point where like nobody used it so what was the problem with bobble before well to my knowledge it reduced your protections which in duel wasn't like it wasn't a crazy big deal, but it was kind of annoying considering the item already didn't have that great of stats. You gotta remember that. The item stats weren't that great to begin with, and it's reducing your prot, and it reduced your healing as well. Which, of course, doesn't affect every single god in the game. It only affects the characters with healing, but like, but like the top two mages that I can think of just off the top of my head, you know, maybe I'm missing somebody, but the top two mages that are not currently banned, um, that would use Bobble would be Morgan Le Fay and Eset. Or not Eset, sorry. Although she's pretty decent with it too, but it would be Morgan Le Fay and um and uh East Shell. X Shell, whatever you want to call her. I think it's East Shell. Um and both of those characters do have healing. Morgan Le Fay ult and East Shell too, right? And East Shell ult, but I don't think that heals her in duel, right? It's just like a teammate thing but um anyways my point here is the item doesn't have that good as didn't have that good as stats and it reduced your prots and it reduced your healing well they they didn't change anything about the actual stats it still doesn't have that great of stats like i said but they did remove the negative effects of reducing your healing and reducing your protection so now it's just an item that essentially uh doesn't have great stats but gives you extra cooldown it allows you to overcap your cooldown reduction. I should explain that like thoroughly because I know not not all of you know exactly what I mean. Like this, the the cap of cooldown is forty percent. If you buy this item, it gives you an it, it uncaps your cooldown. It makes it go to or well, it doesn't uncap it, but it makes the cap go to fifty percent. So what that means is you build your normal full cooldown build like I'm doing right now, Chronos Pendant Breastplate. That's going to give you forty percent CDR. And when I buy Bobble, not only am I now available. Or, yeah, I, I'm, I'm able, I should say, to build 50% CDR. The bobble itself has 10% CDR on it, so it just gives it to me, right? That's essentially all it is, is it's just an item you build. You build after your full cooldown, and now you have 50% CDR. And the only downside to building it whatsoever is just that maybe 
in your six slot build, you're going to be losing out on some damage. You could have had like a different item. Okay, admittedly, I'm not like 100% focused on this game right now because I'm not really pay taking this Pele that seriously. Um, but also because I'm trying to explain stuff to you guys. But it looks like we're doing fine either, regardless. Not a big... Okay, I was thinking about... I have Aegis there too. I don't see like that's what I mean. It's kind of hard to like... I don't know. It's kind of hard to take people seriously when they do stuff like that, I suppose. But anyways, we're backing. So, I do not think that Bobble is, like, generally speaking, a super broken item. Like, it's going to be the new meta, something you build every game. However, I do think there will be specific characters, mostly mages, but there will be specific characters that use Bobble very well, and you probably will see it a lot, and I really hope that people don't do it. In fact, they'll probably put in the title. I don't know yet. Maybe I won't, but I'll probably put something in the title or the thumbnail about, like, you know, please don't do this or something of that nature. Because whether it's efficient or good, it's annoying, that's for sure, because it allows you to have more cooldowns online. And with when you when you build Chronos Pennant, some people call Chronos Pennant a 30% CDR item anyways, because of the passive on it. And then you got Genji's if you're against the magical, right? I just realized I haven't even stacked my passive up, which I don't usually use the Morgan Le Fay passive oh that much. Okay, I have not played Morgan in a long time, I'll be honest. Um but I do like to at least get the four stacks on it. I don't activate the passive with the full five stacks that often, but I do like to get the four stacks. That's what I should do. I need to get a fear off on him. There we go. Alright. Too easy, baby. Hopefully this dude doesn't surrender before we get our bobble online. Please don't surrender. But yeah, um, I probably should have mentioned this sooner. I mean, the, the thumbnail and title should suggest it, but... Um, I'm pretty sure Morgan Le Fay was banned yesterday. Now she's unbanned. I'm pretty sure she was banned. Yeah, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so it's a new patch. Uh, like I said in yesterday's Kepri video, it's a new patch. Rank got reset. Win-losses got reset. Um, God leaderboards are still the same as per usual. Yeah, I'm actually going to hold off my second relic until I just want to buy like a full med or something extra cooldowns um that's another thing about bobble i don't know if it was just ability healing i'm pretty sure it was all healing so bobble you like to go med with it too because more cooldowns the merrier right 50 percent cooldown med is cool but like med healed you less i'm pretty sure i could be wrong about that but i'm pretty sure med healed you less because of the bobble effect right which was kind of stupid but whatever whatever <clears throat> Oh, and like, like I was saying earlier, um, the, the problem with, um, the reason why Bobble's not something you just build every single game without thinking about it, you always get it, it's too OP, blah, 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 is because, like, if you compare it, like, when you're late game, right, you got, you're, you got a red buff, you got your 500 pot, your six slot build, right, you gotta compare this CDR option, you know, Bobble, you gotta compare this to, like, a late game item, like, I don't know, Rod of Tahuti or Divine Ruin, or staff of mirrodin or like, like you, you get the point like there are items that just simply do more damage right but the one thing about bobble that's really nice is it's really like um bad player friendly meaning like you know if you're one of those players that make mistakes very frequently it can bail you out because you have such low cooldowns like super low cooldowns but also another thing that's cool about it or uh, that's not cool but whatever is it kind of helps you in bad matchups like for example uh pele now i know it doesn't look like it so you guys are gonna think i'm you know capping here but pele beats morgan Le Fay very easily actually this is a very easy matchup for, for pele i would say uh, i mean it's not easy in the sense of like you walk all over her like it's still annoying morgan Le Fay has a is really good into melees generally speaking so this matchup is very annoying for pele 100 percent a very annoying but i promise you a good pele with proper relics that plays patiently and knows their spikes will be able to kill a Morgan Le Fay like 10 out of 10 times. We'll have pressure and whatnot. So in a matchup like this, for example, while it's not going poorly for me, still, I'm going to say it, this is a bad matchup where sometimes I would rather sacrifice a little bit of damage for survivability. People already do that with double defense. But if you're not a person who likes to build double defense, because I, because I know not everybody does, right? All right, we popped our horn shard. We're spamming CDs. 
just gonna use that. Hopefully I can hit him with the end of it. I did not. Okay, too easy. All the cooldowns are kind of insane right there, bro. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not all bobble, right? Full cooldown Morgan Le Fay has always been pretty annoying. You know, Chronos Pendant Breastplate, she has low CDs. The bobble's just giving us 10%. Like, it's not that insane, but admittedly, it is pretty insane. <laughs> like, any extra cooldown on an already annoying cooldown spamming character is going to be very frustrating to go against, right? Alright, we're just gonna go straight into the shard. Honestly, mostly because I can I can afford it, right? I keep like auto trying to like buy another relic, but then I realized that uh, you know the thing I said earlier that I need 800 gold for med and you know what's the point, right? Um, I do hope that in this video, because you know I'll probably do multiple games, right? I do hope in this video that I go against a magical so I can have Chronos Pinnet and uh, Genji's, so I can have double cooldown reset plus a bobble. And here I'll hover over the bobble stats once again for you guys uh, while we're paused because I don't really have much else to do, anyways. Uh, so as you can see, the stats aren't, like, terrible. Like, 60 power is decent. Is it good? No. Like, even Chronos Pinnet. Are you just killing the... <laughs> aren't you running from me, though? <laughs> Wait, I get it. Like, I run away for, like, half a second, and then I turn around and kill him. But it's like... Okay, let, let, think about it this way, guys. Think about it this way. He runs at me. I run away for five seconds, right? Four seconds, I run away. Then he turns around and runs away for 15 seconds. And I, so am, am I the worst person because I'm the one who started running away or is he the worst person because he's the one who ran away for longer duration? You know what I mean? Like really, I obviously know that who cares? Like at the end of the day, running away is a part of the game. What else are you supposed to do? Just AFK and die? But still, I just find it pretty funny to think about that. Put in the dirt, kid. You're putting the dirt. I didn't run away now, did I? I stood my ground. You don't want to get on my bad side now. Don't make me put a curse on you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you got to say about that one, bro? I, I literally stood my ground. I barely backpedaled at all. Like that was actually the most like aggressive, like not aggressive, but that was the most like fair mage battle of all time. Okay, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. Unless he messages me something else or starts taunting me, I'll stop because, well, he deserved it at first, but at a, cer at a certain point, it gets excessive, right? You know, I think he deserved the initial couple of taunts, but at this point, until he does something else, we'll chill. Until he does something else. Um, what do we want here? He doesn't have, eh, never mind. I was going to say he doesn't have like a soul eater or something for my, uh, I keep backing with like enough gold for a full item. So I never get to buy my second relic, which is mid. Uh, I should do that next. But, um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was, I was like, he doesn't have a soul eater, so I don't really need divine. But then I remembered that Pele kind of just has, uh, but, which by the way, Pele is back. Uh, she was banned before, I'm pretty sure. But, uh, Pele just has healing in her kit, so. And I have, like, exactly enough money to buy this, so why not, you know? Why not, man? Are you just gonna keep running, man? Are you just gonna keep running? Why are you running? You know, I bet you if I asked him why he was running, which I can't because he's DMD, but like the funny thing here is like, I bet you if I asked him why he's running, he would say something along the lines of, because I can't fight you. Whether it's because I'm ahead, because I'm a better player, because of my character, because of my build, whatever. The point is, if I asked him why he's not fighting, he would say because he can't. And then, so, like, if you rewind, you know, to back to his thought process, it's like, well, usually when people run away, it's because their character can't fight you at that time. And, like, I don't even want to say that that was a great example for, like, this game, because I wasn't fighting him earlier because I couldn't fight him for, like, a moment, sure, but, like, I was fighting him. Like, I... <laughs> Just because I ran away for like half a second and then chased you doesn't mean I'm not fighting you. That means I'm playing my character like an, a non-idiot. I mean, I, I don't know, bro. 
Take that sucker. Alright, so um, I have med over horn shard now. Feels pretty good because it gives more cooldowns back than horn shard does. Uh, the, the question is, when do I pop my mid? I mean, his his ult's still down, I think, actually, now that I think about it. Dude, these cooldowns are insane! They're back up again! That's something I should have mentioned when I was talking about cooldowns. Like, sometimes, like, of course, like, buying a, the bobble in a bad matchup helps you a lot. I don't even think I finished that point. Good thing I remembered that. Bobble in a bad matchup helps you because you're willing to sacrifice defense. Well, I kind of did say that a little bit. You're willing to sacrifice a little bit of defense or a little bit of offense for defensive capabilities, but the Bobble still has damage, both in the fact that it has power and the fact that it gives you more cooldown. More cooldown is more damage because you're casting more spells, right? But it's also defensive because more cooldown it, on the right characters that have a lot of defensive abilities like Morgan Le Fay. Every single one of her abilities helps her defensively in one way or another. Whether it's healing, movement speed, CC, one way or another, every single one of them is a defensive ability, just like more uh Eshell. I mean, that's not entirely true. Her one's not really a defensive ability, right? But Eshell's two and three are very, very strong for defensive abilities, right? So fun. <laughs> Dude, I love how you messaged me, instantly went DND, and then types in the chat here, and then instantly leaves the lobby, bro. Here, let me let me say GG to the Nether Realm. Um, okay, dude, that's so troll. But what I was to finish my point though, which I'll talk about it a little bit at the end, probably. But to finish my point, long story short, certain characters have more powerful cooldowns than others. So certain characters get more use out of Bobble than others. Like if a character just has straight up damage on their abilities, it's not that doesn't mean Bobble's bad, but it's not as good. And if a character has long CDs, Bobble's not as good. While it does reduce your cooldowns more, the higher the cooldown. It's like the, the lower your CDs are, the more you can abuse this even more. But yeah, like uh, a character like that has a bunch of CC or utility on their abilities gets so much use out of this, right? I'm going to queue up again. Hopefully if we don't get people that ban Morgan Le Fay. And then I can uh, play at least a couple more games of Bobble Morgan Le Fay for you guys. I appreciate you and I'll see you guys in the next game. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, we're off into the second game. Oh, we're against Satiro. Okay. A Masters, uh, Masters Border Donzaburo. A GM player, if you will. But against this guy a few times, he's decent, I suppose. He's okay. But is he going to compare to the infamous Jesse Morgan Le Fay? And by that, I just mean the Morgan Le Fay, because, like, you know, this isn't really <laughs> a hard character to play or one of my better characters. Uh, not to say that I'm bad at her, you know? I mean, she's not a very difficult character to play, like I said, but... But my point still stands that he will be losing this game. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. And if he doesn't, then we'll just blame the game and say it was the game's fault. So it's like a win-win either way. Godlike Satira. I think the main difference of like a good Morgan and a bad Morgan, at least in the early game, is to use your clones. You want to use your clones in the early game as Morgan, by the way. Which now that I explained all that stuff in the first game, and also since I was against like a pretty low tier player in the first game... You know, that's why I was explaining everything and, like, not taking it all that seriously. But now that I've explained a lot of the stuff I wanted to explain, go away. I do not trust this guy. I really don't. Normally, I'm the guy who's trying to wave at people and stuff, but I do not trust him at all. I didn't. <laughs> Satiro has never done that before, and he is a tryhard. And I don't mean that in a bad way. You should try hard in ranked, in my opinion. But uh, he is a tryhard, so... All right, so we out cleared big. I'm gonna pop my horn shard now, man. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? I meant to use my clone, by the way. I literally just talked about how using the clone is better in the early game. I kind of just like thought I was gonna miss, so like I rushed the ability, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Kind of like how I missed right there. Oh, I missed everything, man. That is not good, actually. That's not good at all. We do have a med for some for some uh, sustain, but med's really just not that good at sustain. It's like one ability rotation, if that. But I mean, I have decent mana, so does he though, because like we both have 15 MP5, I suppose. 
If I can actually hit him with a clone, I could probably win this early game, but... I think he's just trying to rush to hit 5, which makes perfect sense. Um, I don't know, his mana is looking a little bit worse than our ours, just considering we have the, uh, we have the med still. But, like, he doesn't really need mana as bad as we do. I don't know, I hate ulting the wave, like, I really hate it, but... We might end up doing it here. Okay, alright, that dude threw, he threw. Now, I gotta, like, back and get out of here immediately, though, because... If I do not, then I'm going to lose the red buff. So I heard him ulting over the wall, obviously. I'd have to be deaf to not hear that. And the reason why he went for that play, at least I'm pretty sure, is because Donza can, like, clear the wave and... He can clear the wave and hit you with the rocket if you backpedal, like, if you go to the tower like I did. Which, maybe that wasn't a great idea on my part, considering I won the little, like, skirmish we had. But, oh well, you know. I was panicking Skywalker, what can I say? Ow. Stop hitting me. Stop it now. I command of the magical trash raccoon panda. Isn't that what he calls himself? Something like that? I forget. He, when you pick him, he says something. Or maybe it's one of his skins. I don't know. But it's like he calls himself like a, a magical raccoon dog or something like that. Raccoon panda dog or something. I don't remember what it's called. I just remember he says it. He says something. Something funny. Something hilarious even. Magic is cool. Looks like he is on the rock, which is not good. There's no way he actually... Okay, I was going to say, there's no way he actually comes into this tower with that rocket, right? So... Not a chance. I was petrified that was gonna hit me, man. I was I was just terrified. Couldn't say petrified. Cause we're not against Medusa, as as young Cosmos would say. Okay, he. Uh. Dude, what sucks is he also has the blue buff, man. I was like thinking about how he's gonna go oom and we're gonna be fine, but he like also has the blue buff, so. Be right back. Magic is cool. Magic is cool. I feel like once we, like, right now we're at a little bit of a disadvantage. I mean, not even a disadvantage, honestly. I think I'm kind of playing this a little bit poorly. But what I was getting at is, uh, we're not at, like, the broken part of the game where, like, I just get carried by my character, which is full cooldown. Once I get my full CDR online, it's Jover. Surely. I think we might be giving up some... Oh, I did not mean to do my rotation like that at all wow okay whoops anyway so we're giving up that rock and some wave xp interesting strategy by me here i'll admit i have not been playing this game very well so far i have not been playing this particular smite match very well whatsoever hopefully we can change that though and we got a chester in lane which is nice and we're full cooldown and we're a ranged character, so we can avoid the meteor. Although the meteor is, or the scepter pulsing thing, is more than just what it is. Though it's also like XP and XP and farm and whatnot, right? So, ooh, we actually robbed him of that. We straight up stole his racks, bro. Okay, now we're being annoying. Now we're being annoying, which is a good sign. You want to be annoying as Morgan Le Fay. So yeah, like I was saying, you don't need Bobble for Morgan Le Fay to have insane cooldowns and be insanely annoying. However, Bobble does add on to it and does make it happen even more, make it even more annoying. 
Alright, so I'm gonna stop hitting that because red is spawning, but also because... Well, actually, I think my dual orb fell off anyways, but... You don't really want to dual orb the tower too much early, in my opinion, because you want... Minions to die to the... Oh! oh! Wow, he played that about as poorly as you humanly could. Oh, I was about to say, dude, what's up? Did my dot, like, fall off, like, one second earlier or something? Because, I, like I said, it's been a while since I played Morgan, so I don't know how, exactly how long the dot lasts. I was like, surely there's one more tick, no? And I was like, I guess not, because he's not dying. But, uh, I just, you know, I'm just an idiot. I'm just an idiot loser head, Bran. I actually do want to commit. I normally don't like staying this long for towers, because he has the potential to rush to my blue buff here and invade me at my blue or go to my go to the bull demon etc i don't usually like this play but i wanted to commit to that tower and actually finish it off because um because in this dual meta you can buy the scepter thingy you can buy the scepter and uh, heal your tower back up to full which i did not want to happen to me he's probably on bull demon i would be kind of shocked if he wasn't he's not okay i guess i'm shocked um but yeah anyways Anyways, back to the back to the game. We're now 50% CDR Morgan Le Fay, so if he thought we were annoying before, we're certainly going to be annoying now. Or, well, even more annoying, I guess I should say. Enemy missing. It is not my time. Guys. Now, granted, that wasn't like a really a 50% CDR moment. That's just, this is just, like, part of this video and saying, please don't do this, etc., is part of it, and granted, a big part of it is the bobble, but a part of it is just Morgan Le Fay too, and E Shell, for that matter. I was also referring to E Shell. Because those characters are just incredibly annoying to go against, and we hate them, and they're horrible. And did I mention that we hate them? Yeah, we hate them. So, like I was saying. Please don't do this. Please don't play Morgan Le Fay and please don't go bobble. You know, it's okay if I play Morgan Le Fay and it's okay if I go bobble because I that, that doesn't bother me. So it's like, it's fine when I do it because like I'm a content creator, which is like a synonymous word for hypocrite. But like you guys, you know, if you're listening to this video right now, you're actually legally not allowed to do this strategy, by the way, just, just so we're clear on that. Now, right now I'm praying and hoping that he's not on Bull Demon. Because if he's getting Bull Demon while I heal up my tower here, then that's really a bad use of my time. I shouldn't have been doing that. Oh my god, okay. So it's a bad use of my time. I shouldn't have been doing that. The one thing I will say that is a little bit redeeming about this is, at the very least, he does seem to be leaving his tower a lot, which he might change his mind, but he does seem to be leaving his tower a lot and allowing me to kill him, which means I can still get this Phoenix with a dual orb, right? A little bit harder for me, just, but still very possible, indeed. I'm missing everything because I'm just trying to hit my buttons as fast as humanly possible. Oh. oh my god. Okay, I kind of like threw the game right there. Okay, he's a lot lower than I thought he was to be honest, so got that going for us. But yeah, I, that was that was horrible on my part. The reason why it was so bad is because I, I, first of all, I wasted like a good chunk of my med ticks because the, my abilities weren't even on CD when I used it. I rushed it. Second of all, I missed half my abilities. And uh, third, I uh, don't really have pen right now. And he finally got his defense finished. So rushing into him and trying to brute force kill him like I have been doing the entire game is a little bit harder when you have no pen. Uh, I'm just now building into my pen. You have no pen and they finally got defense online. But uh, yeah, and also there is, it's worth mentioning, you don't have to use med when you're low health, but it is worth mentioning that um, I pop my med at like full HP, which means I got less value out of it, like I got less healing and whatnot, right? Because it like heals you more the lower HP you are. At least I'm pretty sure, right? It's based on current health. Last time I checked it, which was ages ago, so I should check it again. Um, 
yeah it's it's a certain amount plus plus uh their current hp right wait hold on three percent of their missing health that's yeah that's what i meant so it does heal you more the lower hp you are now granted he does have a horrific emblem so you know i'm not really gonna be getting that much healing off med but still worth mentioning i think Why is everyone invading the blue? Dual moment. It rots brains. All right, so we have our pen finished and we have a power potion now, so. That's not to say we win this fight easily. We should still like try our best to land our abilities and stuff, unlike last time. But, um. He's so cooked this fight. I could like spam my cooldowns to like, um, not my cooldowns. I could spam my uh, relics to like get more cooldowns back to um, chase him with my three a little bit better, but I think I'll just end up being CC'd still. One thing I will mention that's kind of bad is I'm trying to like do this insane CDR game for you guys, like with my horn shard and whatnot. But you know what, matter of fact, this is actually too many too many cooldowns for my tiny brain to handle anyways, if we're being honest. And I need the beads because he obviously has a lot of CC. I either need the beads to not die and fight him, or I need the beads to chase him. Like, either way, the point is, is whether it's offensively or defensively, I need beads to play the game. So we're going to get that. Pop in our meditation, walking in here our beads and we don't get taunted because we use our beads and literally i'm right i could just go for the phoenix but i don't know i'm literally right next to this bull demon and i'm a mage aka not as high structure damage right so i think i am just gonna complete this bad boy we'll heal up with the the bull demon buff and with our chalice throw this there throw this there i keep throwing auto attacks by accident for no apparent reason Hopefully we get some more HP. All right, his relic should be coming up because he used his relics around the red buff fight before that fight. I could activate my passive, I suppose, if I really wanted to try hard, but he wasted his thing. And I think that's game. Poor Satira, man. I'm actually buying this right as a hoodie so I do more damage to the Titan. It's not a BM thing. Like, I actually want it for optimal damage here. And yes, by the way, before you... Because there's always one guy. Before you go to comment down below... I mean, you can still do the comment. I appreciate you guys commenting, even if it's something you know and you're just trying to be funny. But yeah. You can buy items from the enemy fountain. The fountains are coded the exact same. Uh, the only difference between the fountain is one heals you over time and one damages you over time, but they're both stores. The only exception to that rule, I would say, is uh, assault. I mean, technically, they're still coded the same in assault. It's just you can't really get up to the enemy fountain in assault. And also, you can't buy from the fountain in assault unless you die, whether it's yours or theirs. So <laughs> a little bit different, but... Uh, yeah, actually, we're going to skip this queue because I don't want to... I usually do. Like, I don't always talk about it, but I usually do skip the queue after I go against somebody. Because one, I don't want them to ban the character I'm playing. And two, I don't want my videos to be against the same player over and over. So that way somebody can go in the comments and be like, Oh, you literally just... You probably paid this dude to feed his brains out for six games straight, you know, to get a good video smile. So I try to... I usually do skip the queues, which does take me longer to get the recording, but whatever i'm gonna queue up i'm gonna at least get you one or two more games hey look we'll get a promo to masters which by the way we're not we're not gm because like i said uh the ranks got reset probably gonna keep it in my title though because just for consistency sake and obviously i'm a gm player so we're gonna keep it there but yeah but everything got reset so that's why we're not gm i'll skip you guys into the next game thank you for watching
All right, guys, we're going on into the third game. Hopefully the last game. If this is like, um, if this isn't a five minute surrender, it will be the final game of the video. And we're against JDKE, the Irish man. Yeah, that guy's uh, playing on the Blondie League. For those who don't know what that is, by the way, if you guys watched my uh, re most recent tournament video, I think it's about a month old at this point. I don't know. But if you watched my uh, most recent tournament video, 3v3 Jazz Tournament, a guy sponsored a tournament called Blondie, a man, a, a man on Twitch named Blondie. And he started a league where, long story short, people like, um, you can't join anymore, by the way, just so you know. Um, but yeah, he started a league where each, like, teams face each other once a week for two months. And the whole, like, premise of it is to, like, grow the community and blah, 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 blah. And, like, um, what I'm getting at here is it's a league where uh, there's there's people who sign up as captains and people who sign up as, like, normal people. And then the captains, like, draft their team. And uh, this guy is a sub for one of the teams. So he's the fourth player on one of the teams. I am playing in that league. I got picked up by Kato. And uh, Kato picked up Habana. That's my team. Kato and Habana. If you don't know who those guys are, I mean, well, they're just jousters. So. Oh, you either don't play on the you either don't play on the same region as me, or you don't play joust if you don't know who they are, probably. Or at least Kato. I mean, Habana's a little bit of a lesser known name, I suppose. I don't know if that's like a toxic thing to say. I don't think it is. All right, so, and also one thing, which I haven't been doing a good job at so far because I've been yapping, but to be fair, the game just started, so there's that. But um, I kind of like thought about it and I realized I wasn't really explaining my thought process too much in the video and because I kind of thought it was obvious, like I'm kind of just spamming cooldowns and maybe it is obvious, but uh, I'll, try my, I'll try my best to explain my thought process a little bit more right now. Uh, right now, I think uh, our, our main benefit we have is that uh, we have a little bit better wave clear. Not much, but a little bit better wave clear than he does. And he's going to run out of mana. So right now we're just playing slow. We don't have very many um, We don't have very many potions left. In fact, we have none, right? So what we want to do is just try to get him to use as much mana as possible. But we also don't want to die, though. So we don't want him to only use mana on us exclusively because then our, our health would be too low. We're kind of just waiting for the waves to keep coming because eventually he's going to need to use enough. Like he's going to need to use mana every single wave to clear. And so eventually he's just going to go oom. Like right now, for example, he's going oom. He has enough for his ult. But his ult, it, only his ult cannot win in this fight, right? So. And we have the med, which generally speaking isn't a very great early game relic, but. Did he not realize I was hitting him, or what was that? Alright, whatever. I don't really care if he stays. If he stays, technically I could try to get a cheesy kill on him, but... Yeah, like, he stayed. I could have tried to hit him with my 3 or something, but... I don't really care that much. He's gonna end up missing that farm anyways. At least in gold, he's gonna miss it. He, may, he might get some of that XP, but he's gonna miss all the farm in gold. So we're just gonna back up here. We go get our health chalice and our Cronus pendant. We love being able to buy our item and our... Uh, our chalice at the same time can't always do it but if you can then you can man feels amazing to be able to do that we're gonna go ahead and clear this buff because it's a little bit fat oh no it actually sucks because we need to get to this meteor uh, i just prefer to do buffs before walking to lane typically although sometimes you can miss you can miss something because of it worth mentioning oh i'm so dead okay I overextended there for the uh, for the scepter thingy. I also didn't have my ult there, and he did have his ult, and I kind of like ate his ult very easily. You know, an, an ability that's relatively easy to juke, or at least in my opinion, it's pretty easy to juke. I got hit by it because I wanted the scepter, which I did get the scepter, by the way. I did get it. But was it worth it? No, it was not worth it. This is one of those moments, though, where I'll say that, Again, I did not mean to die there. It was not on purpose. I'm not trying to pretend like it was. However, I do think dying there makes this game a lot more interesting, especially considering in this video a lot more interesting, especially considering I have been I have been pub stopping this entire time. And maybe that kill won't change anything, and I'm going to continue to do exactly what I've been doing the rest of the video. I, I mean, the, the previous parts of the video, maybe it'll go the exact same way, but he is ahead of me, technically. He is... Almost a level ahead, because I'm just barely level 8. He's probably almost level 9. 
and he does have like a hundred gold lead, which is pretty much nothing. So we'll just call it an XP lead. I would assume he hits ten, he hits level nine off this this minion wave. I would assume. He did not. Interesting. Are right, the clones beating him down? I actually haven't been paying attention to which ability he's maxing. I'm gonna assume I'm gonna assume it's the sickle, because that is the better ability to max, but So my three comes up in one second, but I don't think it's going to be enough, unfortunately. Dang. And so I almost entered the same exact way I did the first time. Almost. Not quite, though. The reason why I was a little bit different this time is because um, I had my ult up, and I also have a little bit of defense, so he doesn't just kind of one-shot me. You know, me being a mage, and he doesn't just insta-destroy me. All right, wait, I'm just going to back up here. Dude, uh, there's a freaking train going right now hopefully you guys can't hear the train if you can't though I mean it's a train it'll go away right that big of a deal I did not really mean to activate my oh okay 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 I'm trolling I'm trolling I'm trolling <laughs> I should have expected that, to be honest. I didn't think his ult was going to be up that soon, but I am a big Osiris fan, and I'm well aware that his ult is on a 70-second base CD. So even without cooldown, it comes up incredibly fast. So as much as I want to complain and be like, oh, Osiris OP, Mickey character, blah, 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 blah. Like, I should have known about that, man. Like, I should have been more aware. Also, Morgan Le Fay is a super Mickey character as well, so... For those who don't know what Mickey means, it's just like, I don't know, I guess like a stupid joke. It's just, essentially just means it's easy, brain dead easy, you know, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Even kids could do it kind of thing. I don't actually know the origins of that, to be honest with you. I don't really think I'm missing out on much, though, for not knowing it. Alright, so this is one of the things I hate so much about Duel right now, is he got a kill on me right there. Like, he pretty much did everything perfect, right? He got a kill, he picked up the door, he poked out the tower a fair amount, didn't overstay his welcome too much, though, because he prioritized farm, and now I get to just heal up my tower. Granted, he if he was smart, if he was really, really smart, he could be on Bull Demon right now. Um, wait, because that, that is one play you can do when they're healing their tower, but a lot of people don't do it, although this guy is a Joust player, so maybe he'll be smart enough. Yeah, he did, he did do it. He is in a little bit of an awkward spot now, though. He's playing it really patiently, though, which is smart. He's laugh spamming. Kind of weird to laugh spam somebody you're going to lose to, man. I got to be honest. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I did not grant you pass. So he's pretty much just playing the whole the whole juke game right now. And he's just way too tanky for me to kill, unfortunately, as much as I want to. He also, like, he's super tanky and is passive and whatnot, but on top of that, he also just has a uh, bull demon sustain, which is actually, like, better than having, like, a health chalice on you the entire time, so. Very, very hard to kill. Like, we both have defense. He has, He's one of the tankiest gods in the game with his, pass, with his passive activated. He does have his passive activated now, it looks like. Kind of hard to tell sometimes with Osiris. I mean, my Meteor does kind of poke him down a fair amount. Honestly, the Meteor has been carrying me this whole time. I cannot lie. Oh, 
Oh, I kind of forgot he did that. Alright, so right now I'm playing a little bit more scared, a little bit more tact tactfully. All that good stuff because, um, I mean, I've just been underestimating him. And also this guy started spam laughing me, so it's serious now. I'm actually going to switch my, um, I'm going to switch my build up just a teeny tiny bit here. Uh, it's still going to go bobble. I just want pen first for, you know, all the reasons I was just explaining, right? I have no damage right now. And he's obviously trying to do a bit of a front door game. And if you can, if you're like a tower camping like character or a late game character, same thing, whatever, you want to try your best to keep your objectives as long as possible, right? So that way you can get to that late game stage. Um, so, which he spam laughed and of course didn't even end up getting the tower. Typical, typical uh, Joust and dual players smile. Uh, we'll heal it up some more, call it a day. So now I don't have my meteor anymore, which sucks. But he didn't—he didn't go beads or some Morgan with Bay. It's got to be like some sort of criminal offense, right? It simply has to be. Not going beads should make this game pretty easy for me, I would say. Overall. Now, I'll be honest, I think in a, in a matchup like this, like double defense could be optimal. I don't know, maybe, I don't know. I was thinking maybe double defense over bobble, but at the same time, though, double defense is just, I mean, it's like the similar thing, right? That's what I was explaining earlier. I don't think I would have enough dan. like, I don't know, I would definitely have a lot more damage going the bobble route. Uh, why can I not find Bobble? Like, am I insane? Oh, there it is. 1400 for the tier 2. 1400. I just need to make sure I don't waste my CCs. Especially given the fact that he uh, doesn't have beads, right? Like, all my CCs are going to matter. All of them are going to count for something. Magic is cool. Magic is cool. Now, I did back, which is a little bit of an awkward time to back, admittedly, because, okay, I don't know where he'd be if he's setting up for Meteor, setting up for Red Buff, setting up for Bull Demon. Alright, we want to look to get some poke on him if we can. Alright, so he used his ult and his tether there. We got the buff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you spam laugh me, you deserve the spam laugh. <laughs> it's all funny games, though, to be fair. Like, I'm not taking it super personally that he spam laughed me, so I kind of, I hope. You know, everybody's different, right? But I hope that he would also not take it too personally, especially considering he laughed at me first, right? But I don't know. I've just never really been the person who cares about laughing in game. Like, is it a positive thing? No. Is it like, is it a nice thing to do that you should do to people? No. Should everyone be okay with it? No. But at the same time, like not being okay with something and like, or not enjoying something and then writing six you know, writing an entire novel about how much you hate that person because they did it is a little bit different, right? So, so what I'm getting at is, like, I'm not saying that you have to like spam laughing or whatever. I'm just saying that, like, you know, don't don't write six paragraphs in my YouTube comments about it because I don't care that much. Like, I really just don't. All right, so we got the bull demon. He actually jumped away with his with his thorns active, which is pretty funny. Right, it looks like he's gonna go the route of proxying my minions. Like he's probably either backing right now or he's coming down here to clear this next wave. Uh because he doesn't want to lose his bird here, right? Now we just gotta space out our CCs and make sure each one counts. That's the most important thing right now. Making sure each of our CCs count. 
And like that one, for example, didn't hit him, but it does zone him. Like this one is going to be used to break the tether. That one I used a clone, which honestly was a big mistake. I didn't really think about him popping sprints. Why is my character lagging so much? Do you guys see that? Like, my character is, like, liter literally glitching. I'm pretty sure the VGS was glitching it. What the heck? Hey, listen, obviously I played the early game pretty poorly, but... And, like, you know, that was due to unrelated things. But all I'm saying is, the second this dude started spam laughing me, the game went downhill for him. That's all I'm gonna say. And that's what... And obviously not everybody's that... Not everybody's, like, super good at the game. I understand that. I'm not talking about Irish. I'm talking about people that get upset about spam laughing. Um, obviously not everybody's super good at the game, right? Um, but still, uh, uh, whenever someone spam laughs at me, my thought isn't, oh my god, I'm gonna sit here and cry about it. Oh, wah, wah. My thought is just like, oh, so it's a serious game now. Oh, like, so you want, oh, we're tryharding. Oh, so you want, oh, so you want the, you want the, you want the sweaty game. Okay. Like, that's always my response. And I usually, so I always find it funny that I ask why people spam laugh people. Uh, sometimes because if it's not for fun, right? That's why I'm asking. Why do you spam laugh? And if you're doing it just because you think it's fun, okay, then more, you know, more power to you. But if you're spam laughing to try to get into my head or something of that nature, then <laughs> bro, spam laughing literally only makes me play better. So whatever. Uh, as far as Kronos, or actually, let me tab out here and mute my smite for you guys, so you don't have to hear, you don't have to listen to Morgan Le Fay in the background. Uh, there we go. All right. So as far as builds for Morgan Le Fay go, obviously you guys saw. What I do most games, uh, most games I just go straight into the bobble uh, because it's the most fun option and it's also really defensive. This is really safe, although going this may prevent you from getting kills sometimes, depending on the enemy, depending depending on how good they are, depending on what god they're playing, depending on how they build, things can change. When I'm against an Osiris who's going defense second item and getting bull demon and PVEing me with his shotguns because Osiris with his passive, if you don't know, go read uh, go read Osiris's passive. But Osiris is one of the tankiest gods in the game. So I opted to go Obshard first and then Bubble, um, which I would recommend to you guys if you're in a similar situation. But I'd say most of the time you're fine going uh, Bobble third. Uh, it's definitely pretty nice. And also, keep in mind, I'm giving you guys a Bobble build. I've already done like plenty of mage builds. I've already done plenty of, which I'll give you guys a quick suggestion. But this is a Bobble build, right? You don't, but you don't have to go Bobble. Like Morgan Le Fay is still just a broken character without it, right? But in most situations, I would go Obshard into Divine if you needed Divine into Reaver. If you don't need Reaver, or if you don't need a... Why did I say Reaver? I was thinking about Reaver. It, you can go straight into Rod. Um, if you don't need Divine, then that opens up capabilities of getting Reaver. And you, some people would argue that Reaver is actually better. Uh, like, say, if you needed the Divine Ruin, Reaver is better than Rod. And, you know, to each their own. Reaver is definitely more expensive, especially if you include the Glyph. But uh, I personally prefer Rod the Hoodie more, especially the Glyph, right? I should actually take this off and put the Glyph on there. Uh, both Glyphs are fine, give or take, but you want this one because it gives you movement speed and cooldown. And in the Bobble build, cooldown, like you have 50% cooldown, why wouldn't you want this Rod? So that's what I would say, right? But there's also some times where you need to think about how much you really need anti-heal. Because there are some games, I promise you, that you guys are probably building anti-heal in because they have healing, but they don't even have that much healing. Like, it's not even that much healing, where you could just build this build and have a better build and be better off, right? So keep in mind, it's not just whether they have healing or not, whether you want to build divine. It's how much healing do they have? Is it really necessary, right? Um, so as far as, uh, like, I would pretty much build this every single game unless you really needed anti-heal here, right? Um, so as far as honorable mentions go... You can go, and it also just replacements for the uh, the bobble, by the way, uh, which you could technically just put Reaver in here instead of Bobble, and it would be perfectly fine, right? Um, but back to what I was saying, some honorable mentions here for good items on mages and stuff like that. Oh, wait, I, I messed this up. Okay, so some honorable mentions. Doom Orb is a decent item. Uh, Mirrodin, oh, by the way, when you're against the Magical, you get Genji's. And I should, I should mention that you do actually build Mirrodin against Magicals because you don't have the 10% extra cooldown from Breastplate comparatively to Genji's, right? It's 20% uh, Breastplate, 10% Genji's. So you do get Mirrodin. Uh, it would probably be over Rod of Tahuti or uh, Shard, but I would say probably over Rod of Tahuti. 
honestly, yeah, you could do it over shard and that would be fine. 20% pin is totally fine. So just keep in mind, you do get Mirrodin in the magical build because you need it for cooldown, right? Um, but other, other honorable mentions, you can always go, you can throw Typhons in your build. You can throw Bancrofts in your build. They're perfectly fine. And then you can go like the triple lifesteal poly build. Um, this is a perfectly viable build. Uh, I just don't really prefer to do it that much and not in the bobble build per se. So just a very, very quick example. If you're going like a, a lifesteal build, I'd probably go like boom, boom. I probably wouldn't go bobble with lifesteal. So it'd be boom, boom, uh, either Bancrofts or Typhons. Doesn't really matter which order you go them in and then boom and then boom. Like that would just be the, the lifesteal build, right? But back to the poly build. Boom, boom, boom. Or not to the poly build, to the um, the bobble build. And say you're just one of those poly fans, because I know a lot of people love poly for whatever reason. You could swap it out for divine or for your reaver, right? You remember how I said you go reaver in this build? You could you could build poly. It'd be perfectly fine. It just doesn't have that many life steal synergies. And I think reaver actually does more damage and divine is a little bit more needed in certain games. But you could do it. It'd be perfectly fine. I hope you guys did enjoy watching the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.